manner of death of Gabrielle Lenora Petito, we find the cause and manner to be cause death by strangulation. The Teton County coroner in Wyoming finally answered the question of how 22 year old Gabby Petito died during her cross country journey with fiance Brian Laundrie. The ME also revealed how long Petito's remains were in the forest at Grand Teton National Park. All I can tell you about remains is that uh, the body was outside for three to four weeks. That would put the time of Gabby Petito's death as late August. Her body was found September 19th. Her fiance had returned home alone to Florida September 1st in Petito's white van. But a 911 call released much later in the investigation made by a motorist August 12th driving outside a Utah market cast more suspicion on laundry. We drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. Police body cam footage from Moab, Utah on August 12th showed Gabby Petito crying when the couple's white van was stopped. Be honest. Like, that was my face. Like, like this. Uh -huh. um, you didn't like, hit me in the face. Like, no, I was going to push, but I was just trying to push your way. Let's, let's just take a minute, step back, and breathe. Laundry's family confirmed he flew home to Florida in mid August during the trip and then returned out west to continue his adventure with Petito. But witnesses later said they saw the couple arguing outside a restaurant in late August. A vlogger also said Laundrie hitched a ride alone in Grand Teton Park in late August, claiming his fiance was working on their social media account. Who committed the homicide is up to law, law enforcement, and I cannot answer the question about uh, the FBI. The FBI has led a massive land and aerial search for Brian Laundrie since late September, combing through nature reserves and a camping ground in St. Petersburg. The coroner confirmed the FBI took DNA samples from Petito's remains for use in its criminal investigation. This autopsy uh, included a whole body CAT scan, uh, a, a examination by a forensic uh, pathologist. Gabby Petito's remains have now been released to a local funeral home in Wyoming. Her parents have said she will be cremated. They had no comment when they visited a memorial in Gabby's honor today on Long Island about the same time that the cause of death was announced. Corey and Tamson. And Mary, you talked about strangulation being a crime of rage. Pix 11, of course, has reported on the red flags and relationships. In fact, I think you have done those reports as well yes. involving uh, choking and how these incidents can really be warning signs for future homicides. Yeah, you're right, Corey. Uh, Pix 11 did a special report in 2019 called Stranglehold. We talked to the Bronx DA's office about domestic violence, and the DA pointed out that a woman who survives a choking incident is seven times more likely to be a homicide victim if she stays in a troubled relationship. It's worth noting how Gabby Petito showed the officers in Utah how Brian Laundry allegedly grabbed her face. I mean, the gesture was very close to her throat when she spoke to them on August 12th.